on me, facts, homie, ain't never been whack, homie, sharp as a tack, homie, showing you no slack, homie, I'm back, homie, to the streets, made a pack, homie, if it's ever war, load the sticks and attack, homie. What the fuck is good? You, as you can see, I got my fucking right hand with me. My brother from another mother. Right here with me, it's Nate Almighty. And listen, this is another how-to. This how-to is how to get your motherfucking YouTube popping like the bro YouTube is getting popping. Hey, shit, man, you gotta check this shit out. Make sure y'all can put this shit in information. I gotta go sub, my nigga. I mean, go over there, subscribe. Don't do no subliminals. Do some subscribing. He gonna tell y'all, and I'm a piggy and you know, jump in and out. He gonna tell y'all how to get your fucking YouTube where it need to be. All right, um, first off, what's up, bitches? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Nate Almighty, man. First off, Nate Almighty Music and Entertainment. That's the name of the YouTube channel. All right, listen, so, um, I'm under a year. I'm going into a year straight doing this YouTube thing. I mean, um, I ain't where I want to be, but I started with nothing. nothing. I had about 3,200 subs. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm making a... a, a, a That's what I was going to say. Hold on. You I was, you supposed to hold that part. You about to tell them what you making already? I was going to say I'm making a, a decent... Well, that's what I was going to make. I was going to make that way for that. He's making money. Yeah. He's making money like they're paying him to post the content of his choice. And it's authentic. So that's something, another point we're going to touch on is that the uh, uh, you got to be authentic because the people won't know. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't even... In the beginning, it's about getting the subs, but once you get the subs, you know what I'm saying, and you start thinking ahead, it's really about... How many subs you got to get? You got to get 1,000 subs before you can monetize your channel. Not one... Yeah, 1,000 subs and over... 40 hours watch time. Um, 4,000 hours or 4? 4,000 4, 4, 4, 4, hours. 4,000 hours. 40 hours, everybody had it. Yeah, 4,000 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, hours watch time, 1,000 subs. You feel me? Then you can monetize, put ads on your shit and make money when people watch it. It took a little while to get there, but you know, you'll have your increments with So how did you get it there, though? What did you do to get it there? Like, what exactly did you do to build the... Nah, to get in the algorithm? Because don't you got to get in the algae? Yeah, it... So explain that. What is the algae? What, what, what it ain't it? really... I mean, the algorithm is basically... YouTube got this computer system where... They, it's basically supposed to be smart enough to determine... what, Who are the right people that will watch your video. Okay. Therefore, your video has a higher chance of getting viewed. Therefore, they can make more money off ad dollars because they get paid... Millions and billions of dollars to run specific ads over specific videos. Whether your shit is monetized or not, they're gonna run ads to get money off your shit. That's what you need to understand. You know what I'm so therefore, you need to get the fucking subs up. You need to get those watch time minutes up so you can monetize it and make bread too. How my shit popped off? I mean, it was basically luck. I'm gonna be honest. I I I pretty much I pretty much caught him at a good time with a good little niche. When you got a good little niche and your and all your or a significant amount of your videos is based around one topic kind of thing, the algorithm will try to find the best possible people that are watching your shit. So I dropped this little video called Riker's Island Story because I seen niggas doing videos like that. Go check it. See, and you can you can do that if you see someone else doing a type of video and it's popping and you have knowledge on it. By all means, you can do that same video. I see the couple niggas that was lit. I, I'm like, none of them fly to me. None of them more handsome than me. None of them got more stories than me. I don't even <laughs> care if a nigga was tougher than me on Rikers Island. You not more jiggy than me, and you don't fuck more bitches than me. You not more handsome than me. That's a time suit thing. Who, who would the bitches rather see talk about war stories? Me or you? That's the question, you know what I'm saying? So my first Rikers Island story was... The Bloods, no, the COs help the Bloods kill a crit. This is facts. This was in the paper. This situation that occurred when I was on Rikers Island, the floor underneath, a couple cells right out there. And when he was on the island, I was on the boat. At the same time, this all happened. And that's another form of the same thing, but it's just like. You feel me? So, 
you know, corrupt cops, they buzz in the cell, blood niggas kept cooking a lot. So I put the shit up, and then the next day, I put up another one about how I popped on uh, this dude who supposedly was the top king, you know what I'm saying? Trinitario popped y'all nigga, but I didn't know. He was trying to pay me because I was pussy. He never seen me before. So I turned around and I snuffed him, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I was seven, 17 years old. You know what I'm saying? 17 years old. 160 pounds soaking wet. You know what I'm saying? But we was from the town. You know it don't matter. I punched we, him in the face. Put, we put him and in then he phone. choked me. <laughs> <laughs> then I grabbed, I, first before he choked me, I grabbed his legs and I leaned my weight on him, leaned them back. My stupid ass, I allowed myself to get choked. So the nigga choked me and shit. I almost passed out. The COs pulled us off each other. I got to deck him and kick him in the face before it was over. And I made a scene, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to make scenes, right? Because little did I know, I wasn't paying attention to them shits like that. But them shit started moving. The scenes are also called movies, man. They can move. Them shits, them shits started moving, you know what I'm saying? So I basically seen that them shits was moving, so I just kept going. So would you say the way to get your page flowing, you need to, one, find a niche. And after you find a niche, you need to also... Flood the gates with that content to jump in that album. I would say, I would say, know exactly what you want to talk about, and you could dedicate your whole channel to that. Or if you don't know, try different shit, throw different shit out there. See That's the what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? And on the right day, them stars align. You know what I'm saying? That'd be it. I ain't gonna lie though. Some of this shit is some bullshit. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like it's chicks. Who never had a YouTube account, they do one makeup and nail tutorial and they shit get a hundred thousand views in two days. You know what I'm saying? Like it's but you know when you That's get a niche there, you know for the saying? ladies like, watching, that's a niche. A lot of women with makeup watch hair tutorials and a lot of women and them kind of people, you know what I'm saying? So to each his own. So to each his own, you know what I'm saying? So so they got their own little niche over there. You know oh, these so, getting it. So once you start rolling, start getting your list together of things you want to talk about that's related to, you know what I'm saying, what's going to make you hot. Also, try different things, you know what I'm saying? Um, try different things. Keep trying different things, you feel me? Like, I got jail stories lit, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that ain't me. Like, my life is more than that. So within those start, those things starting to get lit, I started applying the music. The I started music. doing the lifestyle stuff. When we kicking yeah. it with the bitches, yeah. I started recording stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I took on my real life. I talk about how I feel about the streets and like how I feel about a lot of older niggas in the streets that take advantage of the youth. You know what I'm saying? Like how, right, like right, how right. me and Rich, we was once them kids. You feel right, me? Right, once right. we was just young kids. You know what I'm saying? We start robbing phones and how the drug dealers on the block want to buy them and, and they make him request. Now, like we, now we're going, we going to get it. Like, now we're going to get it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like I said, my channel I'm is, is, is all that's, that I'm shit. I'm glad you said that because we're going to do a how to not, how to not become a day room nigga because that's what you is. You're a day room nigga. You're a sin boy. It's like, yo, I need, I need a... I need a sidekick three. This is one of them times. I need a sidekick three. You will go out and get it. But you about to get a buck fifty. If niggas making requests, nigga, run the price up there. You want to repress? I'm about to go. I'm about to go get this for you ASAP, nigga. That's on demand. That's better than Amazon Prime. I'm talking about we was getting it within an hour. It was within the. I, I'm talking about nigga, nigga. It was making requests. We was getting it within the, this nigga over that way, over that way, over that way. You all come back with something. <laughs> 161st Street Mall in the Bronx. Dangerous. Back in the days, they didn't have cameras. Dangerous. Eventually, they got cameras. Want to know why? Because we was terrorizing that it shit. It wasn't me. <laughs> we was terrorizing that it wasn't shit. Me. It's past the statute of limitations. I, don't, I wasn't. Doing I anything. um um I'm I'm with any you. person that I beat up was supposed to get beat up. They spit on me. That's an offense. I took offense to it. I spanked them. Period. I picked on a couple niggas. I dealt with my karma for that. You know what I'm saying? Any other karma. If a nigga play with me, I'm I'm taking them to Afghanistan. But I'm saying though, I used to <laughs> I used to be like Put a little up. annoying bully, but I changed that, you know what I'm saying? That's part I of the used message. To be a bully. Like I, it's I mean, part of the message too. 
Real niggas don't got to bully people. people. Up, Real man. niggas bully the bullies and they protect the exactly. innocent. You grow up. They protect the innocent, especially the children. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of weirdos. Real real nigga. Nigga. We're going to do that one next. It's over. You know it's what? Let's end this. We're going to jump right in now. Yo, watch this next one. This next one, How to Be a Real Nigga. We're going to jump right into it.